right, Eminem's The Sauce. This is one that I have been waiting a long time to get to, and I'm so excited. I'm finally here. I can't wait to show you guys this song and to react to it on the channel for you. Uh, this is a Ray Benzino and Source Magazine diss track, and if you guys are unaware of who that is, that's the that's the whole point. That is literally the whole point of this song. That's why you don't know who they are. This is an early 2000s beef, and I'm pretty ignorant to a lot of the situation as well, but I know just enough to be dangerous and to talk about it. So I'm excited to dive on into this and show you guys this one. Uh, real quick, guys, I am dropping a song next Friday. Here's a snippet. Yeah, I'm out here trying to get it. Trying to get it. Hey. Each and every day. I don't care about nothing in my way. Yeah, I'm out here trying to get it. Trying to get it. Obviously, I'm a rapper myself. That's why it's called Rapper Reacts. So if you guys want to pre-save that on Spotify or pre-order on iTunes, it's the first link in the description. It helps your boy out a ton. But without further ado, let's dive into Eminem's The Sauce. So excited to do one. Blah, 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 blah. It's all bad now, man. I'm going to try not to pause a whole lot because I just love this so much. Fucked up now, now, man. Mm. Yeah. When that beat comes in, ah! Uh -huh. Right, right off the jump, we got some talking before he gets into the rap, and I just love the grit in his voice. Like, I want the whole world to know. Like, you can just hear the anger in his throat, and he's just ready to unload everything. And one of my favorite starts, or one of my favorite sayings that my dad always told me with fights is like, you don't start that shit, but you finish it. And M's like, yo, I didn't start this, but I'm about to whip some ass. I'm about to finish this shit. I I'm fed up unloading all the cannons. So let's hear the cannons. Blah! So, uh, pretty sure M, he got a four, was it on the Slim Shady LP or the Marshall Mathers LP? I can't remember which one it was, but uh, either one of those albums definitely, were they're classics. They're one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time, and I know Eminem never got a five in the Source magazine, and he's talking about the unsigned hype column, and that was like, for all the up-and-coming rappers, you, if you got a five on that, like, that was your fucking shine. That was like the mid-2000s double XL sort of thing. Like, if you got on that, you had eyes on you. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much what he was talking about right there. That cadence right there. Like, it's just like a fucking drum. And I've heard that on another Eminem song, and I can't put my finger on what song that it is. Um, but, dude, if you just listen to how M is rapping on this, obviously the rhyme schemes, but his voice. Uh, pissed off Eminem, I say it every time, is my favorite Eminem, and it's the best Eminem. And you can hear it right now. It's just so effortless and buttery smooth and just sounds very good to the ears. Um, and we're a minute into the shit. It's crazy. A half now means you a piece of shit. Four and a half or five means you biggie jigger nines of Benzino. See, I don't even think you realize you're playing with motherfuckers lives. I don't watch Ray get fucked on the chronic. Probably because I was on it. Now you mm. fucked me out of my mic twice. I let it slide. I said I wouldn't hold my fucking breath to get a five. Shit, I was right. I'd have fucking died already trying. I swear mm. to God. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I f my man just rhymed spitting noises. I forgot about that. Damn. All right, so again, he, he kind of touched on where he never got a five. Like he said, I'm going to hold my breath. I, I won't hold my breath waiting to get a five because I know Benzino doesn't fucking like me. And anything that I'm attached to, he's like immediately going to dismiss it. And he's talking about The Chronic because Eminem was on The Chronic with uh, Forgot About Dre, right? That is the song he was on, right? I could be wrong. I don't know. I, so many fucking songs and albums and shit in my head. But... Yeah, dude, dude's pissed off about Benzino kind of fucking around just because it's Eminem. And, like, it's fucking up with all of his homies, too. Like, Obi Trice and 50 Cent, their shit didn't get recognized with the hype column. They didn't get the five mics that they deserved. And, uh, yeah. All right, that's enough recap on my part. Shit we threw. No more source the street credit. The maze is dead. Ray's got AKs. The day maze is head. Every mm. is an eight-page made men's bread. Will somebody please tell whoever grades his head? Break it down and proceed. This old cheese about to get smoked like raw weed. You don't know 
Yeah, you see that rhyme scheme, bro? This old G's about to get smoked like bro weed. The pole beat, like it's just so fucking intricate and amazing. It just sounds so fucking good. The line about uh, Ray's got AKs to Dave Mays' head, like that gets stuck in my head. That has been stuck in my head for years. And uh, David Mays is the original owner of the Source magazine, from what I remember in some research that I've done years ago on stuff like this. And that Ray Benzino kind of forced his way into the magazine co-ownership later on uh, after it started. And basically was like intimidating everybody at the office to write good shit about Benzino and Benzino's rap groups that he was a part of. And that's what Am's talking about right here. Motherfucking mother, you motherfucking punk. Put me on your fucking cover just to sell your little sellout mag. I ain't mad, I feel bad. Here's an ad, here's a poster of Ray Ray and his dad. You want to talk about some mm. shit you don't know about? Yeah, let's talk about it. such a funny line you gotta stay up till three in the morning to see your shit on bet it's like when you pay to put videos on bet or when you pay to put out commercials and stuff you pay for the time slot and uh, obviously nobody's watching tv at 3 a.m and that's the only time you're gonna see benzino because it's such a, t a cheap time slot to be put in uh talking about um benzino using his son ray ray uh, as a like marketing tool and ray ray was um I, I don't remember a whole lot about this i know coiler ray is benzino's daughter so um, it's still kind of using his kids to keep his name moving on. And that's what he's talking about right here. I, I'm not a fan of the old jokes. I've never been a fan of the old jokes. But the reason I gave like a uh, during the Eminem old jokes is because of the rhyme schemes that he was kicking with that. Uh, you're sore now, Lordy. You're bored now. You're pushing 30. You're kicking 40s door down. Like, it's just an amazing rhyme scheme. Like, you just can't fucking beat this song and the technicality that the song is bringing to the table. Because I'm pissed. And I fucking love it. EP, you still gotta stay up till three in the morning to see a video played once on BET. So he he he, who has the last laugh after math? Yeah, so on behalf of a whole staff. Even that, like, last laugh after math, behalf, whole staff, asshole cracks. Like, he's just, the rhymes are fucking incredible and they're not filler rhymes. That, that's the biggest thing that I'm trying to harp in right now is that they all make sense. I mean, that is the biggest gripe with a lot of people saying with Eminem's current stuff is he's he's just made so much music that he's starting to rhyme stuff that uh, is kind of forced in there, it feels like. But this is where everything's rhyming and it all makes sense and it feels like it's natural, which is why it's so fucking good. Yeah, so on behalf of a whole staff, kiss my asshole crack, will never fold a whole pack, just know that, cause he knows whack, no matter how many times I say his name, he'll never blow jack, you better yeah. run. fucking rhyme schemes man it's just so fucking crazy and talking about like everybody intimidating dave mays who was the david mays was the original owner of the source and talking about how benzino hired all his homies straight out of prison that was you know got put in prison for extortion like he did and i don't even know if he went to prison for extortion that's just kind of what i'm going based off of the song but everybody's like bullying the guy that created the magazine and that's why benzino gets all these amazing reviews in his own magazine it's just uh, it's a very easy thing to understand when it comes to this this and why I'm in him so pissed off because obviously Benzino's not even a fucking a candle or it doesn't even hold a candle to the the stuff that Eminem can do but all of Benzino stuff is rated higher in the Source magazine than Eminem stuff so you, you kind of get where the parallels are coming from and why Eminem's so fucking pissed I'm calling a bitch bitch you owe me all right that was the sauce and I, I try not to pause too much. I wanted to let you guys just kind of listen to the song and talk about shit that I knew a little bit. But yeah, this is just an incredible song. I love it. One of my favorites. 
Let me know how you guys felt about it. If there's any other diss tracks you want me to take a peek at, let me know. I feel like I've covered a lot of them, and I don't want to keep beating a dead horse. I do got one more video to make where I'm going to rank all the Eminem diss tracks, but uh, uh, yeah, there's some other videos that are coming out here soon, some songs that are coming out from some artists that I like to listen to that I'm going to be planning on reacting to. And uh, yeah, sorry I've been gone for the last... Uh, you know, I haven't been very consistent the last two weeks. I've been building a disc golf course. I've been doing a whole lot of stuff behind the scenes. But uh, hopefully I'm back now with a little bit more consistency in the uploads. Uh, again, new song dropping next Friday. Shout out to Eminem and the Sauce. Shout out to you guys. Love you guys. And shout out to everybody that you see on the screen right here. These are my YouTube channel membership supporters. Uh, again, if you don't want to support my music, you can support me in this way. Uh, or you don't have to support me at all. But these guys go the extra mile to support me directly through these memberships because videos like this get copyright. So I love each and every one of these sexy people on the screen. I love them. All right. And if you want to be one of them, you can sign up down low in the description. You get a cool badge next to your name. Uh, you get a little section on my home tab where I can always see your comments and reply to them. You get free merch sometimes. I give out free merch all the time. It's just a big fun time. All right. But that's it. Love you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Blah, blah, blah. Where were you on the nights that I sat by myself? In my room, out my mind, trying to handle my health. All alone on the phone, hoping you pick up the cell. But now I know how it goes when I get your voicemail. Where were you on the nights that I sat by myself? In my room.